Hello, friends. Welcome to Coding Garden with CJ. Um, I'm going to answer this question that I get a lot. And uh, Revive Newt has asked it. Hello, Revive Newt. Revive Newt says, what resources do you recommend to self-teach coding? Um, and I'm, I'm basically going to tell you all the things that I know are, are decent. Um, but the thing is, we live in a world where there are so many, so many free res resources on the web for learning to code. Um, the things that I mention, you might not like them, but feel free to find other ones. I'm just going to show you the ones where if you have nowhere if you have nowhere to start, you, you don't know where to go, I'm going to show you uh, what you should look at. And I will also mention that this is in reference to, for the most part, web development. Um, I do think that JavaScript, HTML, CSS are, are really good programming languages to start with. Of course, you can start with other things, but I, I do like the idea of starting with web development just because it's so easy to get up and going. Um, and you, can, you could build a website right now if you really wanted to. Uh, whereas other things take a lot of setup. But regardless, the first recommendation is Free Code Camp. So if you go to freecodecamp.org, um, this is a totally free curriculum uh, that has uh, lessons on learning about HTML and CSS in the responsive uh, web design uh, category. You can learn about the basics of programming with JavaScript in the JavaScript algorithms and data structures category. Uh, and what's really cool about Free Code Camp is um, the, it's, it's a project-based learning. So you will create projects. and um, some of the projects you create will actually can be for nonprofit organizations, which is pretty cool. But one thing I like about Free Code Camp is if you have no idea where to start, you can go into one of these uh, certifications, and you can basically just see a breakdown of all the things that this certification covers. So, even if you don't use Free Code Camp to learn directly, the the curriculums alone are just a really good roadmap of what you should learn and, and sort of in what order you should learn it. But uh, what I'll recommend is is pretty much every resource I show you, you should check out all of these resources and, and pick the ones that works best for you. But yeah, HTML and CSS, JavaScript, uh, front-end libraries like uh, React, and fr uh, CSS frameworks like Bootstrap. So Free Code Camp is great. Uh, another one to check out is the Odin Project. And this is very similar. It's basically a free online curriculum. Um, I believe the Odin Project, like let's look at uh, full stack JavaScript. And we look at, let's look at Web Development 101. Um, yeah, I think the thing about uh, the Odin project is it's mainly just lessons, right? So uh, with uh, Free Code Camp, you actually are doing the lessons inside of the website itself. So if you go to the lesson, it has a prompt on the left, you write your code here, and then it tells you whether or not you, you pass that particular question. The Odin project is just articles that, that describe things so that, so that you can learn and give you exercises to do, which I think is really good uh, because it forces you to get out of the web browser and, and start to code things like a, like a real developer uh, in that you're using potentially the terminal, you're using an editor, um, that kind of stuff. So, But again, the Odin Project is another one of those things where if you have no idea where to start, just looking at their curriculum will give you a good idea of what you need to learn and where you need to learn it. So these are in the category of more structured things. Um, I'll also show you a really good resource, which is MDN, the Mozilla Developer Network. Um, this is like the de facto documentation for how to do things on the web. Um, but they also actually have a section on learning web development and they have tutorials. So not, not only is it a reference where you can actually look up um, uh, how things work like in the browser and stuff like that, you can actually find a, uh, a guided tutorial and different things like that as well. So you can check these out. Um, and then let's move on to this other thing, Khan Academy. So Khan Academy is also very similar to Free Code Camp in that the exercises you do are on the website itself. And Khan Academy is great. They have more than just programming. Um, ah, ah, go away. <laughs> uh, they have a ton of different things, but they also have this computer programming course. And again, this is another one of those things that just kind of breaks it down, right? It tells you what order you should learn things in, and, and um, uh, it's a good resource. All right, that's it for like pr prescribed uh, curriculums. I'm now I'm just going to show you a bunch of resources that will help you in your, your learning journey. Um, and thank you very much, David Snyder, for the 10 bits. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, the first one is uh, Daniel Schiffman of The Coding Train. So on YouTube, if you just search for Coding Train, you'll find a ton of super interactive and uh, extremely informational videos. Thank you for the 10 bits, David. Much appreciated. <laughs> Uh, and especially if you're completely and totally new to programming, this code playlist uh, is what you're looking for. Like th this code playlist takes you from knowing absolutely nothing about programming 
to building cool interactive visualizations and small games. Um, so definitely check out this code playlist. Um, and then uh, just in general, take a look at the Coding Trains channel because uh, he does live streams like I do and you can tune in and learn a bunch of stuff. He especially does things like machine learning and artificial intelligence and, and all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, my next recommendation is just search YouTube. There is so much, so, so many resources and so much content on uh, on YouTube. I mean, of course you could look at my channel, but if you just search uh, learn web development, let's see what channels pop up. And thank you very much, uh, Nandos, for the 100 bits. Uh, I, my overlay is broken right now. My emote parsing is broken, but I thank you for the 100 bits. And look at this. So uh, the Coder Coder, a great, great, great uh, YouTube channel. You should definitely check her out. Um, let's see who else. Web Dev Simplified, that's a great channel. Traversy Media is, Media is great. Uh, Stefan just has a bunch of great life advice. Um, Code Academy has uh, a YouTube channel. There's Dev Ed. Um, there's Academind. I mean, pretty much any of these top results, you can just go into that YouTube channel and you're going to find a ton of really great resources um, on how to learn how to code. So definitely use YouTube. Uh, and then... Another thing I'll mention is just in terms of practicing coding, Code Wars is a really great website. So Code Wars uh, are user submitted coding problems that you can just practice. So one of the things about uh, learning to code is uh, it's not just like you just learn X, Y, Z and then you're done. You basically have to keep practicing and, and I practice every single day. Um, I'm constantly learning and growing. And so if you wanna get good at it and you wanna stay good at it, you have to constantly learn and grow as well. And so, uh, Code Wars is a great website for um, practicing all of the things that you've learned um, in isolation with small coding problems. Um, this is my break timer. <laughs> Let's take a quick stretch. Yeah, and I realize this is actually like way longer than I thought this video was gonna be, but these are great resources. Um, so check out uh, Code Wars. There are a lot of other websites like this, and I recommend to try all of those. There's things like Leap Code, uh, Coding Game, a lot of different things like that. And then the last thing I'll mention is uh, this course called CS50. And this is kind of in the category of uh, free online college courses. So there are a bunch of very prestigious universities that actually put their course content online for free that you can learn from. Um, and CS50 is a course that's offered by Harvard, but uh, you can go in, you can check out the syllabus for this class. You can look at all, you can actually watch videos uh, from each of the, uh, the lessons. Um, you can see all of the exercises, and this is the exact same content that a student at Harvard would have seen. Um, and so there are other ones out there. I mean, there are courses from Stanford and MIT. Um, if you just search for like free college courses, you can find resources for that as well. Yeah, so all of these things are great for self-learning. There's a million more. The internet is just full, 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 full of things. Uh, Ral says don't use all of them at the same time. I would recommend you find one that works for you and then try to just stick with it. Um, but after you've learned the basics, then I think it actually good is t it is good to jump around. Um, and I mean, in like in reference to like YouTube channels, every instructor teaches in a different way. So you'll potentially learn something different even if they're talking about the same topic. So I recommend jump around, learn things, all that good stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it for that. Uh, hopefully these resources are helpful to you. I'll link all of them in the, in the description of the video and leave a comment. Let us know uh, what resources are helpful for you. See you later. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. <laughs>